Good afternoon. I'm TJ Benassik. I'm joined here by my colleagues Lily Davudian and Katie Thomas from the Microsoft Sentinel and Microsoft Defender for IoT product groups. Today's demo is on the IoT OT threat monitoring with the Defender for IoT solution. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, there is so much emphasis on securing our IT environments that operational technology is not even a thought. Here are some of the main differences between the two. In IT, you are used to standard IT protocols, uh, updated operating systems, active vulnerability scanning, and confident confidentiality, data integrity, and availability. On the OT side, it's a little bit different. There's proprietary customized protocols. The operating systems are sometimes a little bit older um, additions, and there's passive threat hunting. And security focus is usually an operational process and what's available is data integrity and confidentiality. Here are some of the main use cases for I, IoT and OT environments and why is this important within operational technology. There are three major areas of risk. The first is financial. Shutting down factories causes billions of dollars in losses. The second is IP theft. Manufacturers are eight times more likely to be attacked for theft of IP. And the last is safety attacks. Some examples of these are electric grids, gas compression facilities, water utilities, and any large production facility. So why Microsoft Defender for IoT? Microsoft Defender for IoT uses passive, agentless network monitoring to gain a complete inventory of all your IoT and OT assets with zero to no impact on the network. Here, you can create an accurate and detailed OT infrastructure map. You can use the validated asset inventory to investigate and determine risk associated with existing OT devices, implement a continuous and vigilant system monitoring program with incident response, and last, a unified security solution for monitoring vulnerabilities and threats. Everything comes together with Microsoft Sentinel, which provides intelligent security analytics at cloud scale for your entire enterprise. Modernizing the corporate SOC, visibility of IT and OT in one tool. Machine learning combined with continuously updated threat intelligence from trillions of signals collected daily from global Microsoft ecosystems like email, cloud, and apps. In addition, Sentinel offers scalability and reduced complexity. Specifically for OT, deep IoT OT contextual information via Microsoft Defender for IoT, IoT and OT specific threat intelligence via Section 52 research team, and specific SOAR playbooks. Thank you, Katie. Team, next we're going to talk about what the solution content is to build upon Katie's thoughts for uh, the two products that we're bringing together in this better together story between Microsoft Sentinel as a, a SIM SOAR platform and Microsoft Defender for IoT as an ITOT based solution. So there's traditionally been a convergence and a challenge in uh, working between these two disciplines. Um, a lot of that is a split between what you would consider more traditional uh, cybersecurity, uh, corporate IT based things and traditional tooling versus the other side of the spectrum with uh, operational technology and SCADA professionals. So a lot of this was driven by differences in tooling and expertise. And what we've done is converged uh, a solution to bring together and converge these two disciplines into a single interface and solution package that you can use to um, take all the power of Defender for OT and monitoring your, your OT-based network with agentless collection and respective uh, threat intelligence capabilities, bring that into a portfolio with Microsoft Sentinel to where if your OT asset is getting attacked, you can look at that threat intelligence, see where else that falls within your portfolio, understand the MITRE attack chain, and really bring it together as a more comprehensive offering. So what we built is a Microsoft Sentinel solution, a solution served in Microsoft uh, Defender 
and uh, Microsoft Sentinel Content Hub is a package of content. So that comes with analytics rules, hunting queries, playbooks. And for this offering, it is based in a workbook that provides a heads up dashboard display. You're able to use this for a situational awareness picture for both assessment and reporting. It's backed with 14 different analytics rules. So anytime that an alert within different categories and capabilities is triggered, uh, it will automatically be ingested across the connector into Microsoft Sentinel and generate an incident. And when you do see those uh, alerts triggering incidents, you need to respond to them. So we've included four uh, IoT OT threat playbooks for notification, response, ticket generation, uh, clearing, uh, anything that you would see as a repeatable task, uh, we augment manpower with, with machinery and tooling to uh, put your analysts on the things that are a lot more interesting uh, for them to spend their time, investigations, advanced capabilities, so on and so forth. So who is the audience for this? So we're really targeting this towards convergence of the market between OT-based professionals who have the expertise in threat hunting and response within their respective capabilities and bringing that together with a traditional cybersecurity analyst in SecOps, Security Operations Center. So uh, bringing together those two uh, functional areas within a, a consolidated tooling provides a lot of power in, in taking these capabilities to the next level. We also include our managed security service providers who come in if you have an interest in building these programs, a lot of great partners out there that can help get you up and running and, and help you to mature some of these capabilities within your organization. For benefits and trade-offs, uh, aggregating your alerts and incidents into a single pane, uh, that is uh, something you can use in your SOC. It can be auto-refreshed if you find a pane of interest, or you can print the entire uh, content dashboard as about a 25-page PDF report on the event that you need to show it to your leadership for situational awareness and reporting, or your regulators for posture management. We've aligned the MITRE attack for ICS matrix dynamically in the content, and that's what you can see up in the screen on the top right. So. MITRE ATT&CK, uh, depending on your uh, level of expertise and uh, diversity of tooling, uh, it can be quite a challenge. So MITRE has uh, about 10 different matrices uh, that will customize that threat model to the respective technology and functional areas. So there is an ICS industrial control system matrix. So Traditionally, an analyst using this would need to be very familiar with their tooling and also the matrix to say, when I'm looking at this, where's the threat in that cycle? If I can figure that out, I can predict where they want to be and actively put defenses in place. I can also uh, evaluate where they may have come from and look at places or holes in my architecture that I either missed them or maybe had a gap in control sets. So uh, a lot of manual work there, and it could be a bit of a guessing game depending on your, your background and experience. What we've done is added a dynamic version of the MITRE attack for ICS matrix into the content package. So uh, it automatically classifies every Microsoft Defender for IoT alert and will dynamically update it within there. And Lily's gonna show you guys this here in a moment in the demo, so you can kind of visualize what that matrix looks like when it's dynamically updated. You also have the ability to inventory your devices. So you can put together your uh, IoT OT based portfolio against your corporate IT portfolio and understand um, where your assets are and how you can better control them. So the win theme is convergence, bringing together the uh, IT OT markets with technology capabilities and tooling in response. So bringing that together gives you more time for assessment, for response, for remediation, putting your analysts on things that are interesting and letting machines augment the repeatable tasks uh, to improve your response. A few frequently asked questions before we jump into the demo. Is this the multi-tenant based capability? Yes. Um, depending on your architecture and how you put it together, the content will come together in the workbook section using parameters, meaning if I have multiple subscriptions and tenants uh, that I can see with Azure Lighthouse or Sentinel instances, uh, it's a GUI dropdown. So as an analyst, I don't need to scale that across dozens of different queries. I can do it right at the top in custom reporting just to make my life easier, especially if I need to scale in a big organization or agency. Um, it just makes life easier to use it via parameter and GUI. Um, does this support hybrid and on-prem? Yes, the Defender for IoT sensor does have uh, both hybrid and on-premise based models, so you're able to be extensible into that. Um, Defender for IoT will use that sensor to uh, ingest that reporting into the cloud, and that's how it's fed to Microsoft Sentinel and the architecture. 
Is it available in government? Yes, both of these products are available in government. Content packages are hosted in uh, Content Hub, which is currently in public preview, but content itself is deployable to all clouds. Print save, yes, absolutely. You get an auto refresh if you just want the screen to have the latest data, or you can use the print workbooks feature to export that report into a, a slick PDF sheet. What if there are third party tools? I have different tools within my SCADA portfolio or my corporate IT portfolio. The best part about content is it's customer controlled. We'll give you the easy button to lay it down once it's there. It's just sitting on top of telemetry that you've already ingested. So you're able to uh, add update, tweak, bring in your third party tooling. The nice thing is we organize it by capability. So you don't necessarily need to know the product name. If you understand how the product's being used and you have a, a third party uh, pairing, you're able to bring that in and, and tell that comprehensive story with your investments. And why converge it? Uh, we're trying to save the time of the tooling and the expertise, uh, consolidating the management requirements, using automation to augment some of the more common tasks, and trying to improve the response time with, uh, with your savings. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and pivot into the demo of today's presentation, and I'd like to introduce my colleague, Lily Davudian. Thanks, TJ. Thanks, Katie. I think that was great um, introduction both to Defender for IoT and to kind of why we should be focused on, on this space. So jumping into Sentinel, as TJ mentioned, the solution has three main components and I'm going to run through the workbook and the analytics rules and then the playbook um, one by one so we can see how, how all of those work. Jumping into the workbook, we have the workbook Blade in Sentinel and, and you can open up um, the workbook directly here. As, as TJ mentioned, we have uh, the ability to deploy this across cloud depending on what environment you're currently using. At the top, we have a guide for customers who are jumping in for the first time. Um, once you're familiar, you can go ahead and hide that. Um, we also have the custom parameters that TJ mentioned at the top, which help you filter the report to your interest. So if you want to look at all of your subscriptions, you can do that. But if you also want to drill down to one workspace over a particular window, we also have that ability. Um, so what's really cool here is we have hundreds of visualizations and dashboards that if you wanted to update based on your parameters would take a lot of a lot of writing with with uh, KQL and, and we automate that on your behalf with these parameters. So if you update it, all of the visualizations below will update automatically to get that that drill down, but but also that overview. So when we think about the workbook, there are there are four main components that I want to highlight. First, we have the alerts. So this is how we bring in all of your Defender for IoT alerts in, into Sentinel, which your SOC team should be uh, familiar with if they're using Sentinel today. We filter the alerts based on the five different uh, Defender for IoT categories. So if you'd like, again here, this, this is another way that you can filter the data and maybe only look at malware alerts or, or anomaly detections based on what you might be interested in. Um, again, once you do select something here, we, we populate all of the visualizations accordingly. Uh, thanks to the, the power of the Sentinel telemetry, we have a really awesome overtime story and, and this trending data really helps you understand where you are and, and where you need, may need to build in automation or more proactive enforcement to secure your environment and protect against attempts at compromise. The second thing that we see here is incidents. Um, so for those of you using Sentinel, you're aware that kind of incidents are, um, are based on alerts and we use analytics rules to create alerts and I'll talk to create incidents and I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, but here we, we surface, you know, some of your, your top most incidents. So if you're jumping into the portal, uh, you know exactly where to prioritize your time. Again, we have this really awesome uh, trending trending story where you can look at over time uh, kind of where you're seeing spikes and if that's correlated to something that you can be doing again more proactively to secure your environment. Uh, I want to focus for, for this tab on the uh, efficiency, which really thinks about your SOC's time to respond and how you're handling, you know, the, the large amount of data you're getting from uh, Defender for IoT and how you're actioning it. So this is a great place to think about mean time to respond. How does that meet metrics? Is there a way that we could improve this um, and, and really just assess how your SOC is doing? 
Um, very similar to the alerting, we have deep links for everything. So you have a lot of filters here and you can look at the data in, in different views based on what's important. But once you realize that you want to look into an incident further and, and kind of deep dive, we have direct links where you can pivot um, to the appropriate product or portal um, so you don't have to spend too much time navigating between all of our, our portals. TJ also mentioned that we've done this dynamic MITRE mapping. Um, so again, MITRE has over 10 different um, matrices and we focused on the, the ICS one. If you're not familiar with it, we have deep links throughout the, the workbook, so you can click more and, and learn here. Um, and again, what we've done with the mapping is allowed your teams to have more consistency in their responses. And then we've really automated a lot of the work on your behalf. So instead of mapping the alerts or the incidents, you can think more about kind of what are the overarching themes that we're seeing? Where in, in the threat life cycle are we seeing attacks? What does that mean about our environment? What does that mean about our architecture? How do we need to improve it more holistically over time? So bringing in the data and really turning it into actionable insights around how you can secure these environments. Um, one part of that, of course, is the overtime story, uh, but also the filtering. So if you want to filter by tactic, or by technique, we have all of those options here. Um, and then of course, severity is always important. And, and if you wanna learn more, everything is, is directly um, clickable here. And then the last piece of the workbook is the device inventory, which again, um, helps you really understand where your assets are and, and get that better understanding. Like the other panels, we've built in a lot of filters here um, so that you can deep dive into the data and understand where you're covered, where you might have gaps and, and then action accordingly. So the workbook is really the first piece of the solution and helps you understand, you know, the assessment, the situa situational awareness and, and all of that. Um, once you have a better understanding, we also have the analytics rules. So when you're in Sentinel, you can jump down to analytics. Um, when you deploy the solution, as, as TJ mentioned, you get these 14 analytics rules, um, which allow us to create an incident from the alerting. So here, if we search for um, vendor for IoT, um, you'll see that we have these 14 um, analytics rules around creating incidents based on Microsoft Defender for IoT alerts, um, which is which allows us really to bring in a lot of possibly lower fidelity signal and turn it into an actionable um, incident that our SOC teams can can act on and, and use to help kind of secure our environment and 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 mitigate. So bringing in the data and tapping into some of Sentinel's uh, advanced uh, kind of capabilities like entity mapping and, and correlation really allows us to get more out of the Defender for IoT alerting. And then the last thing I want to highlight is, is the playbook. So here, um, if we look for the three playbooks that are deployed automatically with the solution, um, we see they're around closing incidents, um, around creating a service now ticket. And as TJ mentioned, we thought about what are the repeatable tasks that we see these teams needing to do and how can we automate that so that they're not spending so much time in the tool or um, you know, doing things that, that we know we want to respond to and instead focusing on higher priority items. And the automation also really allows us to develop a consistent response. Um, and, and that's what we've done with, with these playbooks here. So we're, we're hoping that um, this will be a great starting point as you start to deep dive more into your ITOT environments. And, and with that, I'll hand it back to TJ to close us out. Thank you, Lily. So as a call to action for everybody, get started today, sign up for an Azure trial, deploy our tools. When you get into Microsoft Sentinel, navigate to the Content Hub and uh, install the IoT OT Threat Monitoring Solution with Defender for IoT. Get up and running with it. Definitely do let us know what you think. We've embedded links for surveys in all of the offerings. Really want to drive this as a community-based need, so let us know what you think and what we can do to improve in further iterations. Thanks for joining today's session.